Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back. And I have someone that I am dying to let you meet. So why don't you introduce yourself and tell us who you are and what you do at BCT. Hi, my name is Beth Insey and I'm the director of Junie B. Jones, the musical. Junie B. Jones is going to be so much fun, Beth. I have sat in a couple of rehearsals and it's energetic. It is fun. It is silly. Uh, it has heart. So tell us a little bit about Junie B. Jones. Well, I'm, I'm really, I think everything you said about it is true. It's, um, it's energetic, it's fun, it's, the musical is based on the Junie B. Jones books, which are first readers, and there's, I, I, I'll get the number wrong, but there's a, there's a collection of them. And they're, it's based on Junie B. Jones's adventures, or her adjustment from being a kindergartner to being a first grader, which is a big deal. And yeah. some of the books we've, if, you know, people have read them. There's the adaption of Jeannie B. Jones and the Halftime Show and Jeannie B. Jones and the Stinky Bus. <laughs> and, and it's, I mean, it's a great fun. It's just great fun. Yeah, and these books were written by Barbara Parks, correct? Mm -hmm. um, and it's just such a, to me, such a legacy for kids, because I remember these books and so like mm -hmm. being able to now watch it on stage on live theater it's mm -hmm. it's just so exciting um tell us a little bit about um why do you think theater is such an important thing in the life of children well there are two things i think about um theater in the lives of children one is that it's an event you know you go on the bus or with your family and you get to go to the theater and experience something that's you know maybe really special and i have fantasies that you know the kids get back on the bus and they talk about the show and you know they go home and they recreate the show and they tell about their parents about it and then another thing i think it's important about theater for youth is that i remember when i was in fifth grade i went to birmingham children's theater and saw a show and went wow that was looks like fun. And what I love about theater and the life of children and what we do here at Birmingham Children's Theater is how essential it is to the development of just their day-to-day -day skills, right? Mm -hmm. Like sharing, mm -hmm. um, uh, being able to discern situations, being able to make friends, being able to communicate, and theater does that for children. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and not in this case, having Junie B. Jones taking place in the in the place that those kids know the most, which is school, um, I'm super super excited to get to um, to experience this and, and, and see the kids watch it for the first time. For sure, that's one that's one of my favorite things to do as a director. Is you know I come to opening day and sometimes I come back and when I go to BCT, I always want to see the show with the children, you know, the, with the school groups, mm -hmm. not not with their parents because their reaction is so honest. And, you know, you know if you have them, if you've lost them. And um, it's fun to see them just enjoy it. Yeah. All right, Beth, where can parents find the information to get their kids here to see Junie B. Jones? We will have Saturday performances, public performances on April 6th, April 13th, and April 20th at 11 o'clock in the morning. And the best way to get tickets is to go online at www bct123.org. Thank you so much for being here today. We cannot wait to see Junie B. Jones. Follow us on Instagram and all of our social media so you can find out more about our shows. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait. I can't wait for them to see it. <laughs>